It's now mid-January. It's freezing. It's pouring with rain. And I'm sitting at the Edinburgh Airport Longstay Car Park on my way to chase the Northern Lights. Been wanting to see them all my life. So we now have the opportunity. I'm going to Iceland. Four day trip. And hopefully we get to see the lights. We landed here in the airport somewhere, around this area. Uh, we're here now with a car rental place and we're going to take a drive up the river as soon as we put the car up. We've got a car from a company called Lagoon Car Rental and you can find out, I'm going to put a link to their web address down below. And what they've given us is a brand spanking new Hyundai. Hyundai SUV car and it's brilliant. It's been heated up for us and the steering wheel is warm. Can you believe that? The steering wheel's been heated up for us. That is a big novelty for me. Um, another thing we've got in the car is Wi-Fi, which is amazing. So once we've got the Wi-Fi, we'll all have our phones connected and we'll know where we're going. But yeah, as soon as we get the Wi-Fi up and running, we'll be able to see how we can get to the hotel, which uh, is quite important. for a sandwich and coffee. Well, it's now quarter to 11 in the morning. The sun is barely up, it's snowing. We arrived about eight o'clock last night in Reykjavik. To our surprise, the Northern Lights were already in full swing. Last bright green ribbon of light right across the sky. And unfortunately, by the time we got a higher car, to the hotel and got set up, it had already disappeared. But we'll try our luck again today, we'll see what happens.
we're just taking a 10 minute break. We've been driving for a couple of hours now. And I think we've still got another couple of hours to go. I'm gonna grab a hot cup of coffee now and then get going again.
have some. You want some? I like some more cheese. What do you want, Sean? <laughs> It's us leaving Iceland today. We've had a great time. We we're only here for four nights. One thing I can say is that everything is very, very expensive here. And when I say expensive, I mean expensive. Your food is gonna set you back anything between 30 and 40 pounds a head. No problem. It's even in the cheap places. Dress for the cold. And when I say dress for the cold, I don't mean just dress for the cold, I mean dress for survival. It is bloody cold here. It can change from two degrees to minus 16. In 30 minutes, you're going to get caught out. The thing I can say about Iceland is that the people are very helpful, very friendly, and they all speak English. You won't have a problem here at all. The food was brilliant. I would say five star. Every night we had food here, brilliant. Can't complain. If you're coming to Iceland and you really want to see the country, I suggest you hire a car. We hired a 4x4 by a company called Lagoon. Lagoon Car Hire it was absolutely brilliant. The local tours here are going to cost you a bomb. You're looking at about hundred pounds plus per head to go see something. Now, if you're a group of people for the same price, we hired a large car for the four days and we got to see so much. The roads are really safe, even with all the snow and ice. Didn't see any accidents. All the cars are kitted out for this severe weather. Another thing about Iceland, when you're planning your journeys, this is a massive country and I mean huge. Things can take you anywhere between three and four hours to reach a place to 12 hours. Now the problem here is that the sun sometimes doesn't come up till 11 in winter and it will set at four again. You don't actually have much daylight to do a lot of things. So if you know you're going somewhere far, get up early and get to your destination when the sun is just about to come up. Otherwise you're gonna get caught out at a location and it's gonna be dark. The other thing is when you're going on these trips, take food. It seems that uh, as you get outside Reykjavik, the locations for restaurants and that get fewer and fewer. When you start getting to the glaciers and the north, there's very, very little restaurants and they all seem to shut early. Take a lot of warm clothing and take food with you, just in case. And also, the toilet stops are very few and far between, so plan them, otherwise you're going to get caught out. All in all, Iceland, five out of five. Brilliant. <laughs>